everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. I think it's very interesting that it's now or never is playing on my TV. <laughs> so yeah anyway that has a lot to do with this reading I think. Um, it's it's now or never man right. Honestly today I've had nothing but really positive energy reads very beautiful readings today guys. Um, you might want to check them out. This could be a continuation of that because um, I'm getting, literally I shuffled these decks like three times and I'm getting the same cards out. So there could be another wave of um, masculine energies coming in to communicate. Um, but I mean it's just beautiful energy and now I'm hearing it's now or never in Italian music playing on my TV. So anyway guys, listen, this reading is for the collective. Um, another love update, right? It's not going to resonate with all of you, I know that. Um, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you know the drill. Thank you all for your likes, subscribes, your comments, your shares, your donations. The energy is just really positive today, I don't know. I love this energy. So anyway, guys, um, I'm in love with this energy. Let's get going. If you like this video, just go ahead and click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And this channel is for adults only. Communications coming in. Your person, they want, a, they want a new beginning here. You know, every deck starts with the Fool card. This is a new beginning. This is what they want and they want to take a leap of faith. He's about to step off of this cliff without even looking. They know who it is that they want. They may be coming towards a Cancer. You could be a Cancer. Not necessarily though. But um, yeah, this uh, your person could be an Aries or you could be an Aries. Um, yeah, they're coming in to communicate. They want this love. They want a new beginning. Look at how beautiful this is. They want this new beginning here with their empress. For real, who is also a high priestess. Okay, I'm going to start laying cards down. Your person. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love this energy, though. I'm in love with it. They want a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith. They're coming to communicate here because they want this new beginning in love with you. You could be dealing with um, a water sign, too. They want this new beginning in love. This is the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail cup of love. This is a gift of love from the divine. It's, you know, they, this is what they want. Wow. With their, with their empress. They want this with their empress. Look at you. Oh my goodness. You could be, oh, there may be competition in the picture as well. You could be um, a water sign. You could be Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, um, really any sign here with the empress. Okay. But listen. <laughs> this is fabulous. Um, I've got Italian music playing in the background. Man, this is, I wish you could feel this energy the way I do here. Anyway, you're an empress. You are every queen in the deck to this person, okay? Highly, oops, highly, highly intuitive. Highly intuitive, very connected to the divine. You could be um, a spiritual teacher, spiritual healer, a um, very spiritual person. Um, you've been keeping your mouth shut and focusing on your own on your own business basically could be just that you could be a business owner you're very abundant okay um, you don't waste your time you're not going to play any games with anybody you know your worth you're independent not codependent independent right um, you can take care of yourself I mean, you know, and you're intuitive, and this here, this cup here, this is the best love that there is in the whole entire deck, man. Not even the Holy Grail cup of love, the Ace of Cups, has that jewel on it. Not in the Arcanum. So, this is the best love. They know you've got the best love to offer out of anybody they could ever meet and you're powerful and you're strong and intense and deep and spiritual and every, you're everything that anyone could ever 
even hope for in in a in a person here and very powerful <sighs> yeah they want this love with you <laughs> this person they want this love with you they want a brand new beginning me you're going to get con you're going to get um communication coming in here fast messages you could have already could have already started this person wants to come and tell you how they feel about you they're very emotional here over this very emotional um th there could be a battle i feel like your person may be trying to leave somewhere uh, they could feel like um there's some competition here too that you may have someone else in the picture um this could be them with inner turmoil, but it doesn't look like that to me. This person knows exactly what they want. And, uh, yeah, anyway, I feel like they're, they're facing some conflict here wherever they are. Wanting to leave, wanting to maybe escape, um, having to battle some um, opinions coming at them from other people regarding this. We're going to find out, though, which deck do I want? What, which deck should I use, Divine? Because I like them both. What do you want? Okay, we'll stick with the Arcanum. Okay. Yeah. All right, what's the central focus here? For this person, these readings, yeah, we're putting work into something. They want to work on this, I'm telling you. They, I feel like this person has been juggling you and someone else. Um, but see, there's that one pentacle here. I feel like they finally realize what they want, who they want, who they're in love with. This person I feel like is very much so in love with you or in love with, I mean, you have so many qualities. They're in love with your love. Okay. Does that make sense? This person is in love with your love. They're... Um, they're in love with all the attributes that you carry within you, right? Your independence, your passion for, for life, or the fact that you've scraped yourself up maybe from being let down and now you, you've grown to be an empress. I mean, this person looks up to you. They maybe not looks up to you, but you know what I mean? They, they, um... They're proud of you for your accomplishments. And they're in awe by how intuitive you are, I feel. And your strength. It takes a lot of strength to not speak during this process of, you know, a spiritual journey, right? Yeah, they're just, oh man, I'm telling you. They're, they're sitting down right now. They're thinking about how to communicate. Okay, this is like a momentary pause right before this communication, right? They want to work on this, want to, want to really work on this, want to get together with you. This person has to take a momentary pause, though, because there's a lot of heartbreak that went on between you guys. I feel like they broke your heart in a third-party situation, maybe betrayed you, and now they're trying to sit here and think about exactly what it is that they're going to say and how they're going to how they're gonna say it you know they need for it to go down really well because here they come they want to come in tell you how they feel they're very emotional a lot of emotion here overflowing with emotion here yeah and here they want to get together this is parties get together celebrations this, I'm thinking this was a third party situation too that they had you in. You know, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign, but they, they want to take action. This King of Wands, lately I've been seeing the King of Wands just sitting on his butt in a throne, right? At a, at, in a chair. Today I'm seeing him standing up straight, ready to take action, grabbing a hold of that wand. Um, that's what they that's their passion right and they're getting ready to go after what they want this person may be coming towards you as a king which is wonderful um let's see what else we got yeah they cannot stop thinking about you this is a person from your past 
you guys have a history together possibly third party situation betrayal okay and heartache but it, it goes further back than that this could have been somebody that you knew for years and years you this could have been someone you considered a friend right um you could even have children together but this person this is nostalgia this is them doing nothing but remembering that love of yours i'm telling you they're in love Oop. wow that just flew out of my hand they're they are in love with your love your person's in love with your love and so many other attributes and your strength and your power and your wisdom you know the the high priestess is very wise you know knows a lot of things right your person just they can't stop thinking about you oh my gosh you guys have to look at the last reading that I did <laughs> You know, I think this is what's going on inside that head of theirs. Seriously. <sighs> they cannot stop thinking about you. This person's completely... I feel like they're coming in. They're coming in. Yeah. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer or Pisces. Um, this is the full moon here. This is happening. This is what they're thinking about during this full moon, but they're also, you know, it's probably been a long time since this person has seen you or spoken to you, right? They remember your love a certain way and everything, They and they know how powerful you are now because they feel like they've been watching you, right? But they don't know what's going on around you. They don't know what kind of changes you've actually been through. They don't know what you have going on in your life. I mean, if if you're this wonderful, you might you may have other people around you, you know, that are interested in you. They just don't know. They don't know what to expect when they come forward with this communication. They don't know anything. They're I feel like they're coming in absolutely blind here. But they want to see eye to eye. They want to meet you, they want to see you face to face. It's been a long time, I feel, since this person's seen you. This is a soulmate connection here, too. But your person um, may have a choice to make, or you may have a choice to make. I feel competition here, or your person could feel like there's some kind of competition. Maybe they're worried that once they come face to face with you, there's going to be a fight because they really want it to go like this, you know? A discussion that's calm, seeing eye to eye. This is too many cards, but yeah, your person, I feel like they've been, when they come to you to communicate, I feel like they're, they're yeah, they're going in blind. They're going to tell you that, you know, they, this person needs to cut something out. I feel like they've been giving to, uh, too much to other people, all of their resources, not just money. When I say giving too much, I mean their energy, their time, their resources, right? Um, and they need to communicate something and cut something out. They've been attached to the devil energy. It needs to go. It's all been an illusion. I think this is what this person wants to let you know. They have been stuck and chained to the devil here. Some kind of toxicity. It could be an addiction. Um, it could even be like a job that they hate. You know what I mean? Something like that. They definitely need to talk and cut something out. Full moon phase again here. That's today. Um, yeah, they've been giving too much. They need to stop doing that. Because it's all been an illusion. Whatever they've invested everything into has just been an illusion for your person. Yeah, and a lot of fighting. Now we're getting this coming up again. Yeah, you guys have a lot to talk about, including their player energy, if they had that in the past. But this person's coming towards you. Okay, what's the final outcome here? I don't like really doing final outcomes, but... What is the final outcome here, or possible? 
It's never final, guys. I'm sorry. The possible outcome. This is why I hate doing them, but yeah. Communication. Communication is coming in. Your person's in complete and utter regret here. I'm telling you. They know they turn their back on this soulmate connection. There's that two of cups. There's that two of cups. They turn their back on it for a third party. That they invested everything in foolishly. Foolishly. They're going to come in and communicate with you. I feel like um, they want that communication to be like playful, flirtatious. This is a person who's, I feel like they're, they're nervous. They don't know how really to communicate with you exactly because they know they, they underestimated you in the past, big time. You, you know, they saw you as something like this and you, t you flipped on them and turned into an empress. Um, your person's in a lot of regret for how they treated you. Um, they're coming in to tell you how they feel about you. I, yeah, because now, okay, this is why we're getting all of this. This is all that they, all that's happened between you. All of it, okay? Well, maybe a little bit less. You know, they may have been immature. They may have came in, flirted with you, left again. We had that player energy. They're regretting all of this, okay? This is all the stuff they regret. They regret the if there were any power struggles. They regret, well, they're upset if there's any kind of competition. But whatever they were in was an illusion. It was it was toxic. They felt chained to it. They 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 may still need to cut something out and speak their truth here though, because they've been giving way too much of themselves and their resources to something that's toxic and an illusion because of all of this the main thing that this person regrets is the fact that you were hurt and now you're in this energy when you used to be in this energy okay that is I feel their main regret here because they know they need to talk to you but you're in Queen of Swords energy you've been you've just been hurt way too deeply or too much you know, this sword here, that's the sword that they put in your back. I compare, this is what's really great. I compare the Queen of Swords actually a lot to the Queen of Cups. I do. That's just me, though. I think I'm the only one who does that. Because, see, the Queen of Swords comes from a very loving space. There's that love that they're in love with, right? But they hurt the Queen of Swords so deeply by sticking the sword in her back and betraying her that now she's had to pull that sword out by herself, heal on her own because they abandoned you after they did that, right? And, um, and now you're in that power where I still have the sword. I don't want to get hurt again because my love is worth too much. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting that couple love. You, you do have the best love that they're in love with, okay? The problem here is, is how do they get to it? They gave you that sword, remember? So now you're like, I don't want you to hurt me anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to hurt me again. You want them to come at you with the truth, okay? Um, but they, they really, they remember you giving out all of this, all this abundant love in the past, the love that you, you've always had inside you that they're in love with, but man, they screwed it up and hurt you. So you're protecting that love that they love so much. Okay. Um, yeah, that's one of their biggest regrets. Yeah. Yeah, that love is still in there though. It's just that you you don't you don't want it to be hurt again. You don't want it to be misused again, you know? Your person knows this. They're regretting all of it. 
um, especially now since they're coming forward to communicate with you. Yeah, they want this new beginning. They're coming. They're coming anyway. Yeah, they're coming because the divine is making them come forward. They have all of this love for you. They just have a very hard time showing it or telling you, okay? You may not even know fully how this person really feels about you, but they're taking action. They want, they have all this passion for you, okay? They're coming forward, even if you're like this, because they know that that love that they're in love with is in there somewhere. And they're coming in to try. Yeah, they're coming in to try, and they're actually backed by the by the higher font. That's the divine. That's the Pope in the deck. They're coming in to try, okay? Yeah, I guess you know uh, the Queen of Swords. She's got discernment, and you're very intuitive. So use your discernment. Use your intuition. Remember that you're an Empress, okay? So handle this with grace. Um, yeah, your person's coming to, to tell you how they feel about you. They are. And they're, they're getting their confidence and their strength to do that by the divine. Okay? Just so you know. Another beautiful reading, guys. Seriously. I'm just going to keep going because this flow is great. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy today. Especially... Um, a lot of dreaminess, a lot of high positive vibes from the masculine energies today. Really. Uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, you might want to check out the, uh, the last reading that I just did because I had very much of the same energy. Um, but anyway, listen, that's what I got for you today. If you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And, um, yeah, until next time, everyone, take care of you, and peace out.